Hey everyone, this is Doc Williams with AppSumo, and today we're going to be talking about Izon. Now, what is Izon? Well, it's a video conferencing platform that's great for one on one meetings, teams, etc. Now, you've probably heard of a hundred different types of video conferencing software. Why is this any different? In this video, we're going to be talking about key features and why this is going to be perfect for your business. So come with me. Okay, everyone, like always, before we get into it, make sure you go to absumo.com slash eyes on to get this deal now. It's in the store. It's not going to be there for long. Make sure that you pick this up. Now, after you get the coupon code, you go to eyes on, you get started. We're going to get right into it. Now, the thing that I like about this platform is, and we've been, ref we've been looking at a few in the last couple of months. I like this because this product the UI UX is prestige. It is so clean. It is so easy to use. It's beautiful. Now, why am I making this a point? Well, I've had, and you know this, different types of deals, you'll see them at different stages of inception. That's okay. These are all new companies. But what I like about this platform is it's a totally different um, workflow than a lot of other um, uh, live uh, or video conferencing platforms I've used in the past. When you're in a room, I like the experience. You can have so many other features that I thought were very unique. And uh, we're going to we're going to delve into it and show you why you should actually use this platform. So once you sign up for it, you're going to be given options on the left hand side. You're going to have a section where you can have an introduction learn more what you should be doing. You can have a quick guide, but also you can break this down by rooms. So say for instance, if you're having very specific rooms for clients or whatever, you can create them very quickly right here. I really like just the default images, probably from Unsplash or something like that. I just think that's a nice touch. So right there, I can just say beta room. And then I can add another room, um, room, uh, picture. If I want to, I don't have to, I continue. And then right here I can, uh, copy the link room right here. I can invite, I can do all those things to make sure that I'm in the know when the participants enter the room and, um, and make sure that I'm, I'm not missing anything. Right. So it comes with notification. If I want to know that all that kind of good stuff, I can continue. Now, say for instance, I go into a room, and uh, I'm just going to start. So once it's preparing the room, it's going to take me to an area where it's prepping me to get started. And in a few moments, it's going to prompt me to make sure that I'm using the right camera. Um, if I'm using the right microphone, it's going to connect all of those things right here. And um, it, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to join. All right. So this is a little bit meta. You're going to be seeing it. Now, there might be a little bit of a lag because I'm recording this in a different program. And then you're going to be seeing me and all this kind of good stuff. All right. Now, what you're going to also have on the side, I can start waving. I can talk to people. But I love right here where I can get GIFs. And while I'm talking or making a presentation, um, I can also look up different GIFs. And right when I pick it, it drops it right into the main screen. I use a lot of Kim Kardashian GIFs in my presentations. Don't judge me. They pop up right there, right? It just adds another element when I'm doing presentations. It adds more comfortability. People are used to seeing those kind of things. It's just great. Also too, I can have the section where I have the chat feature so easy. Haven't had a problem with it at all. I can bring in screenshots and, um, uh, it's just everything right there. It just makes sense in the workflow and where everything is. Um, I can take snapshots, make sure that I'm having that bam. And then also too, I can, um, share my screen or I can share, um, PDFs or, um, or images that I can drag and drop right here. Now that enables me to, um, let's just, Let's just do this real quick. I'm going to add an image. Now, remember guys, the lag, 
the lag is real on this thing because it's, it's trying to do a lot of things right now. I'm running this program, I'm recording in another program and I'm doing this. So um, please don't freak out of why is it doing this, All right? Say for instance, I'm gonna go and use AppSumo. I'm just gonna drop the logo in right here. Okay, preview, click present to have it to start. All right, so when I have that, I can now present all the things that I'm looking at. So this is the AppSumo um, uh, logo. I can also right here, I can draw, I can scribble, I can do all these things to make notes on what's happening. I can have multiple images, all those things. I can ch um, change the size of where my camera is right there, or I can just shut it off. And then again, I can stop the, um, the image and stop drawing. And there you go. Once you're having all of these things in this room, um, it's incredibly easy to also uh, manage it, right? I can change the whole background to dark mode. I can change the layout. I can live stream from this platform as well. I can live stream to Facebook and to YouTube. And again, I can record right here as well. So good times. Also, I can change the device settings, camera, microphone, output, all those things. Super, super easy. And then again, if I'm talking or if I'm, if someone's talking and I have them, I can switch over quick, um, quick emojis, all those things. I just think it just adds something. Okay, cool guys. So you just saw the inside of one of the rooms. Let me exit out of the room right now. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Exit right here. I go back out. And again, I can have designated rooms based on my team, all of those things. And it allows me to have my feedback of how, how did I how did I enjoy the experience and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we're gonna go to a couple other things too. Look right here on the left-hand side, we can look at App Connect. A couple things I can have. I can have collaboration with uh, Slack, Trello, Dropbox, YouTube, Facebook, Zendesk. So I can integrate a lot of different things and they have a upcoming Zapier integration. So you can integrate tons, thousands of other apps coming soon. Also here, I've been seeing a couple of things with um, th it's not as robust for the webinar, such as the follow up emails and replays and all those things. If you're having it right here, you're just looking at the betas right here. You can add that. You can copy the webinar link, the moderator link. You can upload images and use a replay so you can use it for uh, evergreen as well. Um, and then, of course, you can download uh, the contact data as well. It's not this, th these features I think are going to add more in time, but keep in mind this, I don't think this platform, if you're going to look for exclusivity with webinar, you would want a webinar platform that had all the, all the bells and whistles. If you're making that a main stable of your business, right? So if you're looking at that webinar, Ninja might be something that if you're looking for all of those um, features right off the bat that has all of those uh, follow-ups and reminders. I'm sure they'll have it in time. Or if it's going, when it integrates with Zapier, if you're having ConvertKit or something like that, based on what's happening with the webinar, you could always have a, you know, a sequence that uh, follows up with them. But right there, I, that's the one thing that I see lacking right here. Um, but again, the experience that I like about it, I'm willing to deal with that because they don't have those features at this moment. Um, other than that, I really like the entire platform and it has really, I've changed my workflow on how I could use this. In my business, what I use primarily for all my meetings, I use for booking, I use Book Like a Boss, and then I use Zoom Pro to uh, manage all of my meetings. I'm really rethinking how I'm gonna be using Eyes On for some of the portions of our either live training that we do on our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, and um, and looking into it, uh, just because I like the, the feel of this platform so much. Is it perfect? No. Does Zoom have a lot of other things 
that um, that integrates or that you know is just better than eyes on uh, possibly in different areas but again that's why it's your responsibility do your due di diligence of how you're going to be using this platform how does this work for you and then look at if you should use this another thing is this is lifetime right so if you're looking at zoom and you're a new company or say for instance you're a startup and you're on a limited budget and you have a team of like nine and you really need a software like this and you have, uh, you know, financial constraints, this would be a really good alternative instead of uh, a monthly occurrence of Zoom with all of those different licenses per person. So again, guys, let me know how you're going to be using this platform for your business below this video comment below this youtube video let me know how you're going to be using this i will answer every single one of your questions i will either find an answer for you or i will create another video to answer your question and uh, we'll see you in the next product review